6 now new this morning. History is coming alive for the city of Salem as the historical ghost walk returns. The event gives people the chance to walk through city graveyards, meeting characters from the past. Sounds like a great history lesson. WSLS says Aaron Brookshire joins us live this morning from East Hill Cemetery. So Aaron, how is this different from other haunted houses and uh, uh, haunted trails that are out there? Well, the biggest difference is that this ghost tour isn't scary. It's a chance for people to learn more about the history of Salem and really the entire region from the people that helped formed it. Now joining us now is Fran Ferguson. Good morning to you. Good morning, Erin. So tell us a little bit about the excitement of this tour. This is something people look forward to coming out and seeing every year. Year after year, they love it. This is this is our real family friendly adventure through local history. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got lots of passionate uh, ghosts who are going to tell their stories and, and, and let people know what's happened here in Salem and who the people have been. So if people want to come, what do they need to know? It's two weekends. It starts tomorrow, right? Starts tomorrow night uh, with a big full moon. So it, the, to, this week is going to be in Sherwood Memorial. I'm sorry. This week is going to be in East Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a walking tour. It is up and down hill. Wear good shoes, um, but we'll finish up in the museum. Next week, we're at Sherwood Memorial Park in the amphitheater. All new ghosts, all new experience. It's going to be really cool, uh, but it's a chance for people to be seated if they don't want to want to walk so much. Walk through. Yeah, absolutely. And so tickets are still on sale and speaking of the ghosts that we'll be meeting we have one of them here with us this morning we have brigadier general andrew lewis good morning to you good morning to you so tell us a little bit about some of your adventures well for one thing i served with uh, colonel george washington later of course continental commander in chief and he had me made a brigadier general to serve in the revolution i also was a prisoner of war captured by the french during the forbes expedition and i was a prisoner of war in quebec for about a year and then from there king george granted me a tract of land for my service during the french indian war and you're here on my home richfield I also was in the House of Burgesses. I served with people like Patrick Henry and George Washington and Peyton Randolph. And of course, I was uh, there when we chased Lord Dunmore out of Virginia, and I served on the Executive Council with uh, Governor Thomas Jefferson. Wow, well, so great to have you here with us this morning My and pleasure. to hear a small part of your story. And this is just a little bit of what you'll see at these tours throughout the weekend. And all this weekend, 13 ghosts will be here sharing their stories, sharing more about the city. Now, as we mentioned, tickets are on sale. We'll have more details on that on our website. Just head over to WSLS.com, Jenna and Patrick. And this is really family friendly, Erin. I love the fact that people are not jumping out at you to scare you. Yeah, that's right. That is the key. It's family friendly. Now it will be dark, but there won't be people jumping out and trying to scare you. This is really about learning more about the history, not just of Salem, but the entire region. So it's definitely a family friendly and fun activity that will be taking place over the next two weekends. What a great history lesson for, for a lot of folks. Aaron Brooks, our live force in Salem this morning. Thanks, Aaron. New this morning, a virtual.